Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I blog every day at kjaggers.com. That link is below, just in case you wanna visit. So I am back today with another 2015 travel series video. I know some of you guys are not into these videos. I totally understand that. I do have quite a few rolling out this week, but hopefully some of you guys watch these and incorporate some of the tips, tricks, packing solutions, um, and incorporate them into your own family travels. Um, this is just my way of doing things. I like to be prepared. I don't like to get somewhere and not have everything I need. I like my suitcase to be packed nice and, and tidy. And you can see in some of my past videos where I haven't used the packing cubes, you can see that they're not near as tidy. And it makes such a big difference. So I thought today that I would sit down on my bed here because I it felt like the right place to do this um, and go through my suitcase back here. And I'm also going to go through Scott's suitcase. So there's a lot of different things that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. Um, and like I said, I hope some of it really kind of helps you plan and pack for your vacations a little bit easier. So let's have a look. I'm going to take you through everything. The lighting is starting to change, as I've been saying in almost all of my videos. I've been videoing a little bit later in the evening so I could get some of these videos pre-recorded for you guys. So right now I am on vacation and you can always leave a comment below no matter if I'm on vacation or not. I'll get home, read them and respond to them. You know, sometimes I can't respond to every single comment. Sometimes my comments um, are the same to quite a few people um, because it's the same kind of update type of thing. But um, I will be reading your comments. So be sure to leave those below if you have any questions or or comments but we're gonna get started and I'm gonna take you through the suitcases so here is my suitcase and it is extremely packed it weighs about 38 pounds and I have one of these hand um, suitcase or luggage you know weights where you just hook this onto it hold it for a minute and it will tell you the weight. I find these extremely helpful they're easy however you know you can weigh yourself on the scale and then hold your luggage and see what the difference is my mom used to roll her luggage to her grocery store like out of her car into the grocery store because they had a big scale right when you went in and you could pop your luggage up and see how much it weighed um, easily that way too but she also has one of these now and they're so handy um, and I really love it so now let's go into how I've got this packed so over here is packing cubes and we will go through those in just a minute but we're going to start with this side right here now in this section i have all of the dresses and can just get it back so you can see all of the dresses that i'm going to be wearing now i put them like going opposite direction so this one's coming that way this one's the opposite and that way they won't stack up and be like really thick on one end but I have them all in here and you can see they're just layered in and they keep going um, I have day dresses and night dresses there's quite a few in here and they fit really well in this way and um, I'm very happy with that and it worked out perfect I can actually fit a few more pieces of clothes or dresses in this area um, if I want to um, and then of course it just kind of closes up so you can um, well it's kind of messed up but um, that's going to drive me crazy there we go um, and that just holds everything in nice and neat now this pocket actually zips up around the other side of the luggage if you don't have it packed really full but it doesn't come out so you know you can kind of move it around and in here I have my white shoes um, that I don't want messed up they've never been worn and I have them in one of those little garbage bags that smell like vanilla I think that's great for shoes you know especially men's shoes so I buy those little bags at the dollar store a lot um, in this container, I have my baseball hat. That's all that's in there. And then up here, I have a couple belts that um, I'll be taking with me. And that's it for that side. Then we move to this side. And this is where all of 
the packing cubes and all of my main clothes besides my dresses are. So in here, I have um, a total of one, two, four, six large packing cubes and one small one. So I'm just going to kind of open them up and give you an idea of what's in them. Like in this one, it's just um, t-shirts, everyday t-shirts and tank tops. And I fit a lot in. Can you see all those? So there's that one. Very simple. And they make your luggage so much neater. In this one, this is more dressy shorts. So these shorts are dressier and, you know, I can wear them anytime I want. But I do separate them um, from these shorts, which are everyday shorts. And what I have in here is some blue jean shorts at the bottom down here. And then some other shorts right on top that I love and wear a lot. So those are going with me. Now, you're probably wondering, why do I need all this for five days? Well, generally in the morning, I start out in shorts um, or um, something, you know, comfortable and loose. Then I move into pool clothes and then we get dressed up for dinner. And then a lot of times I even change out of dinner clothes and go to like the comedy clubs and stuff like that within the boat. Now, in this big, big packing cube, I have capris and some different pants. I have one pair of jeans on the bottom. Lots of different pairs of pants. You can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven pairs. And those. And now I will be wearing probably every single thing, but you never know. And I'd rather be overpacked than underpacked. I just fit that right in. In this one, I have. This one's really full. Cool. Bathing suit, cover up on bottom, pajamas, undies under the bras, and then, you know, my bras. So, um, you know, undergarments and swimsuit and pajamas. And everything lives comfortably right here in this packing cube. Again, you wouldn't be able to get all this stacked up that neat in your suitcase without the packing cubes. In this packing cube, we have a little bit more dressier of shirts, just lots of different ones that um, I can choose from if I want to. So again, right inside the packing cube. And then in this small packing cube, I simply have some jewelry. And I have earrings in this little case and bracelets right there. I'm not somebody who likes big, heavy necklaces. So, um, I don't pack a ton of jewelry. I just don't really need it besides, you know, like my rings and stuff that I'm already wearing. Okay, so to get these back in here, I just start putting them in. They fit fine. The little one goes down here. And this one goes here. So in order to close this, I bet you guys really want to see that, don't you? All I do is flip this over, just like that. Pull everything in. Make sure all of these little gadgets, um, little zippers are in. And then bring this part carefully over. And all I do is push down and bring the zipper around. And push things in. So this suitcase is really filled to its max at around 40 pounds. Um, you know, most suitcases are good at 50 pounds and under for airplanes or um, um, travel of any kind, really, like the cruise we're going on. But all you have to do is just kind of push it down a little bit, just like you would any other suitcase. And even though this is a hard side, it zips up and it kind of bends for you. I didn't want to pack a ton of luggage. It's not easy for me to get around with a lot of luggage. So I wanted as much in one suitcase as possible might take a second and things always seem to take longer when I'm on film I don't know why I guess it's just the universe just want to make sure no clothes or anything um, are sticking out so no other zippers get caught and voila there we go we have a very full beautiful hard side suitcase 
organized to the hilt and I'm going to be sharing Scott's bag next but also and that's going to be within this video you're we're going to jump right into it in just about one minute but also I'm going to be sharing what's in my carry-on and what's in my makeup case and um you might wonder where my shoes are but I'm going to share that with you in just a minute Okay, everybody, this is my husband's suitcase. It's weighing about 43 pounds right now. We have about eight pounds we can still put in it, and he's going to put a sport jacket right across the top, and that will probably take care of things. So, let me kind of show you how I have him packed up. So, before we get going, like, I'm going to pull some stuff out, and I guess we'll start with this. Okay, so this is the Eagle Creek envelope system and it's a genius and let me kind of let me see let me back up the camera a little bit and show you how this really does work well so you open it up got velcro on each side and you have a beautiful stack of shirts can you see those no you can't Okay, I think you can see a little bit better now. Now, you can see there's lots of shirts stacked up here, and there's quite a few. And um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this just stores them so nice, wrinkle-free. Let me show you how um, it's done. So I'm going to move this just right over here carefully. And all you do... I have another shirt I need to put in that just came out of the washer is you get your shirt buttoned up just like you would if you were folding laundry get your collar down and in the right position and then you put the shirt front side down spread it out and just try to get the wrinkles this goes right at the base of the collar you see that you fold over the side just like this. Bring your sleeves back on themselves. Same with this one. Bring the sleeve back on itself. And then you're going to pull up the bottom. And you still got that shirt board in there. So you just flip it over. And what I do is I have this stacked up, um, you know, while I'm working and while I'm packing. And you do opposite, so you got collar at this end this way, and the next one will be on this end. And I just grab the shirt, still on the shirt board, set it right down, pull the shirt board out, and there you go. And when you're finished, you add your shirt board on top to help stabilize it and push it down. These sides come first, just like that. And then the side comes up and the side comes down. And this keeps everything organized really neat. Let me do that a little better. And, um, and it's got a handle. So it's amazing. I love that. Now, over here we have two more of these. And I'm going to show you a couple more. So in the very bottom we have these two envelope systems. Now this one is by um, Dot Dot Travel, I believe. Has pants in it. Pants are exactly pretty much the same way. So let me move this out of the way a little bit. Grab the pants I want. Now the dry cleaner was very careful with the pleats, but I still fold them like this. Grab them up, you know, and you get your board out just like this and you put your pants down so you have them sorry there you go there you go maybe you can see better now so you have your pants and all you're going to do is take that up bring it up like this your pants are done and you can flip them over, put them on the top layer, and pull out the plastic piece. And now I'm just going to close it up. And in this one, we have 
um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of pants. I'm just going to pull those sides up. Fasten them. Make sure everything's in nice and neat where it won't get all wrinkled up. Bottom comes up. Top comes down. Done. And so those are so nice. Um, and then this one has collared shirts in it. Like dress shirts. So I'm going to show you how we do one of those really quick. Move them out of the way. Now all you do with these is take your dress shirt. And you can see you don't even have to have a ton of space. You just put your um, little board there, your shirt board there. Fold over the edges of the shirt. Bring the sleeves back on themselves. Just like that. Try to get the wrinkles out as you go. Back on itself. Then all you do is bring your bottom up, like so. And then, let me kind of move it. You get your pile that you have going already. And again, opposite directions. So you get it on, you pull your shirt or your piece out, you straighten it just in case you need to, or you know, if you do. Make sure your collar is in good shape. And there you go. And then you put this on. And how many shirts does this have? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's about seven shirts there as well. Pull your sides together. And then I kind of do the opposite, but that works. And there you go. Check that out. Isn't that nice and handy? So on this side of the suitcase, we have Scott's packing cubes. We have boxers and socks. Very, very handy. Perfect with handles. In this one, we have pajamas and, no, yes, pajamas and extra t-shirts like to sleep in. Again, has the handle. This one has shorts, and this is a really large packing cube with um, his swim shorts. So um, I will show you. There's quite a few pairs of shorts in here. Look at all those. So, very, very, very easy to organize a suitcase with packing cubes. Very easy. This one down here, this large one, is just white t-shirts. And I just stack them up. And I just kind of put them across like this. Now, in these bags are Scott shoes. So, we have the brown pair right here. We have Nikes right here. We have the black pair right here, and he will be wearing his flip-flops to drive in, he said. So that's pretty much how that's shaking out to be. And then, over on this side, we put the, the envelopes. And everything just kind of fits in nice and snug. Just like that. And just like that. And then these are some of my shoes. And I have them in the individual little green bags. But I put them in a big Ziploc bag that I got from the Dollar Tree. Great for organizing. And it went down here. He's got a larger suitcase and his still wasn't like overweight. And then actually underneath this packing cube, this one goes. And this is another Eagle Creek small little hip packing bag. And what this has in it are belts, see the belts, and ties. So, you know, very organized. He can find everything he needs easily. Fits right down there in the corner. And then this one goes right there. And that's it, you guys. There's nothing in the pockets. There's nothing up here. We can put dirty clothes in there if we wish. But he is packed up and even has my shoes. So that's how we're packing our bags for our vacation this year and I'm so happy I got more packing cubes they are genius you guys and I absolutely love them
I'm gonna jump back in front of the camera and finish this video up. Okay, so now you can see how I've organized my suitcase, how I've organized Scotch using those packing cubes and the envelopes. They're amazing, you guys, as you saw for yourself. I am absolutely in love with this suitcase. You could see how much I got in. I mean, I really packed it up and I took it right to the 50 pounds and um, I'm really, really happy with everything um, that's inside of here. It's everything that I want and I'm super excited that I don't have, you know, a messy suitcase that I have to dig through and, you know, it just makes it so much harder. So, I hope again that some of these um, videos help you guys in your travels Sorry if you hear my cats running, they're going crazy. Um, but, you know, my my packing away really works for me. It might not work for you. And, you know, it is expensive buying packing cubes for, you know, different members of the family. But um, they're a good investment to have. So are those packing envelopes, especially if your husband um, travels for work or maybe you do. They are amazing, just like I showed you, and I just fell in love with them. Now, again, um, you can take what you wish out of these videos, but I really hope that somehow it inspires you to pack your suitcase a little bit neater um, and make life easier on yourself because nobody wants to go vacation and be stressed out over clothes or anything else. So I like everything to be neat and tidy and organized. And I feel like I have that within the suitcase right now and also in my husband's. So that's a look into our suitcases. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to get subscribed. Right now, my videos are not being posted on my blog because we are out of the country. But um, they are all scheduled to go live right here on YouTube. So be sure to come back, check out the others. And then next week, we'll start in with all day in the life vlogs from the cruise. So I'm very excited to be sharing that with you. Anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.